As we start going back to the office and we look at new ways to get around, there's probably no better time than now to start looking at commuting by scooter. They really are so accessible and easy to get into. You can ride a 125cc scooter after doing a day's training. So to find out some of the options out there, I've asked some of my friends and colleagues to come along to choose a scooter to go out and have a look at. I've gone for this Lexmoto Aura. So Lexmoto are one of the biggest selling brands and this bike is an absolute bargain coming in at just under 2,400 pounds. This is the Honda Forza 125. It's one of the most premium 125cc scooters on the market today. It's a pound under 4,950 pounds. It's Honda's top of the range scooter and it's packed with tech. This is the new Vespa 125 GTS. And I chose this bike because it's uh, easy to ride, stylish, uh, iconic. It's Italian, like me. So I'm looking forward to that. So you guys have all chosen 125s, which is a natural thing because you can ride them after doing a day's training on the CBT. But I've chosen something a bit different. I have got the Piaggio MP3 300. Now this is obviously bigger, a bit faster. 27 brake horsepower. 7,250 pounds, and it's got three wheels, two at the front, one at the back, and because it's a bit wider, you can ride it on a car license. So if you don't want to do a CBT, you want some a little bit faster, maybe do a bit of motorway work, this might be the solution. But anyway, enough of us talking, let's go for a ride. So guys, we've spent a bit of time with the scoots today. Carl, I was a bit surprised to see you turn up with Lex model. Well, to be fair, like it's it's a premium Lex Moto and it's still cheap. It's under two thousand four hundred pounds, and you actually you get a lot of bite for the money. It's key this. It's got it's got a little USB port. It's well, it's got enough go for a scooter. Like it'll do sixty mile an hour. Um, to be honest, it's not as premium as the other three on test. Like it almost looks like and feels like a cheaper version of the Honda. But there's no bad thing because it's under half the price. And like there's a few niggles on it. Like the uh, the fuel gauge isn't exactly accurate. It said I'd run out pretty much, and uh, I still had like two and a half liters in the tank. And it's the under seat storage is lacking a bit. You don't get anywhere near as much as you would say on the Honda. But for the price, I mean, you can get it for under fifty quid a month and it still it comes with a two-year parts and labor warranty as well so it's pretty impressive in my eyes and at the other end of the scale you've got the classic scooter when everyone talks about a scooter you think of vespa yeah and in bright yellow it's no one amazing. misses you coming <laughs> <laughs> yeah a lot of people were stopping us for having a look to it and uh, yeah, it's classic, it's stylish, it's fashion and uh, easy to ride. I love the seat height because I can easily touch the, the ground with my feet. And um, yeah, I'd like a bit more power probably, but for our 1 to 5 CC um, scooter, that's, uh, that's actually enough. And uh, I love it, it very it, practical. It wasn't the fastest 1 to 5, yeah. but the Honda was quite surprising in terms of its performance. All these scooters are obviously, they're limited in terms of power, but the Honda seemed a little bit quicker than most. It did, for, for a 125 I was really, really impressed. When you think of a 125cc scooter, I don't think you think of something that feels quite big and commanding, but when you sat on that, the seat was nice and big, it looks quite long, the riding position is nice and commanding, you've got wide bars, and the, the switch gear, everything just feels premium about it, and it doesn't feel like a 125cc scooter. It was, it was powerful enough for a 125, you sort of hit 70 and it would stay there. And if, if you're in and around town and do a little bit of dual carriageway work, then that's absolutely fine. Um, but the Forza also comes in a 350 and a, and a 700 model. And I think if I was doing sort of those longer journeys, then, then that would be the, the option I'd go for. But for a 125, I was really impressed with the practicality. 
it felt nice and big. You didn't feel sort of small on the road. You had a nice commanding riding position. Um, so overall, yeah, it was really impressed. And for, for a pound under £4,500, um, it's on the more premium end. I mean, we rode, um, we rode the Honda PCX and the mm. Yamaha NMAX yeah. a few months ago. And those yeah. are the two best-selling yeah. scooters in the UK, in fact, in, 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 in Europe. Um, and we fell in love with those two. Yeah. How does the Forza justify that extra money? Because it is quite a bit more expensive, isn't it? I think if you line up the Forza 125 and the PCX 125, you can see a, a, a difference in build quality. And, and the, the premium side of the Forza really does come through with the, with the technology features that it's got in it, like that adjustable screen, like the torque control. Um, and just, just the final touch is the switch gear. It feels like a bigger bike. The dash, the dash has got everything you need to see on it. Um, it just it feels more than a 125, and I think that's what, what is the difference between, between the PCX and the Forza. I actually spent quite a lot of time with the Forza 300 in the past, and, and it's a 350 now. Mm -hmm. I know the Forza and the Vespa you can get in larger capacity models. And I think if you've got a full bike license, we obviously we came here today to, to, to try out models that you can ride without going through your bike test. Um, if you have got full license, those 300s are, 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 are great because that extra speed does help you out. Yeah, you could do with a bit more power, but then uh, there was one bike on this test that cheated a little bit, wasn't there? Well, yeah, the, the rules were, if you'd read the email, the rules said, a bike that you don't have to pass your full full license for, and that's exactly what I brought along, because I've ridden a lot of these three hundreds, and I know that that extra power is is helpful, not because you want to be driving, you know, riding really fast everywhere, but because to keep up the flow of traffic. The MP3 is not super fast; it's got 26, 27 horsepower, and it is heavy. It's about two hundred and thirty kilograms, so it's almost double the weight of of, of the others. Um, but it'll do 70 miles an hour. The dash, the speedo is actually in kilometers per hour, which does make it quite difficult to read. But it kind of goes there and it sustains its speed. If you're in traffic, you're obviously, you know, you're struggling to top 60 miles an hour. If you're doing a lot of dual carriageway work, it does help. It's a little bit wider and heavier, so it's not quite so good around town. But what I wanted to do is bring a 300, because I think if you have a motorcycle license, that 300 really yeah. is a bit more practical, it's a bit bigger. Um, you don't need a motorcycle license for it because the front wheels are spaced in a certain way. Actually, you can ride it on, on a full car license. That said, it is £7,250. And that's a lot of money. And if your objection to getting a, a, a bigger scooter is because you don't want to go through the test, actually the costs are kind of offset if you're paying cash up front you will probably find that you would be cheaper actually going through your test and buying a, a your conventional two-wheel scooter that's all well and good you come here with Lex model is that what you'd recommend to your mates thinking of buying a scooter yeah I, th I think you get a lot of bike for the money it's it's almost under half price of the Honda and it's definitely not half the bike and to be honest it's not it's, it's a bit out of its depth if you take it out of the city and stuff but it's to be expected and yeah it's a mega bit of kit but I think it all comes down to money. And when you look at the other, well, the other three bikes, there are a lot. Like, do you think that that Vespa is worth almost five grand? Well, the price is a bit high, but to be honest, it's, uh, you're paying for the history. You are paying for the name, for the brand, and for the style. You know, a lot of people stop and say, wow, look at this Vespa. It's, it's nice if you're a girl, if you're a woman. It's also a nice first scooter for a woman, so I think I'd stick with it. I'd probably go for the 300 version uh, for having more freedom, but if it's your first scooter with, without license, uh, why not? So I really enjoyed my time on the Honda. I think it's a, it's a great bit of kit, but at over £4,400, I'll have to go with Carl's decision of, of the Lexmoto. For a 125, I think that's sort of the perfect price point, and like Carl said, it's not half the bike you, you still get a lot of bike for your money um so for one two five i don't think i could borrow spending that amount of money um but i love i love the honda it had a lot of nice features you, it felt good on the road it handled really nicely it was really smooth power um but if it was my money i'd go for the next moto if i so if i was to pick one from today it probably wouldn't be the mp3 if i've been honest it's a it's, it's a good product you know the front end grip on it is is fantastic if you're not used to riding you know two-wheeled vehicles 
it, it does have that reassurance. It's it is quite simple to ride. Something I didn't, you know, I didn't quite like the weight of it. You you do feel it. The economy is not as good. You know, fuel economy is like more like fifty miles to gallon. Um, so I probably wouldn't do it. I mean, for me, the Forza is is is, is a lovely bike. Uh, if I could cheat a little bit and get the 350 version of Forza, <laughs> that would be my choice. Otherwise, I think I'd see if you couldn't go with Lex Motor, to be to be honest. So yeah, I, I, I think if you're looking for some inexpensive wheels, the Lex Moto is great value for money. Vespa looks amazing. It's a premium brand. It will turn heads. If you're just looking for a cheap runaround, there are probably others out there. That Honda is loaded mm -hmm. with gear. It is beautiful quality product. But again, if you're looking for a, a cheap runaround, and that's why Honda, the PCX, is just massively, massively selling. Look, the conclusion is that scooters are ace. It, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. They are all really practical. If you're looking at a way to get back to the office and commute, they're all relatively inexpensive. They're really easy to ride. You know, whether you choose a 125 or you go down the route of getting full bike license, I think you're onto a winner.